Hello everyone. In this session, we will understand about various notations that are going to be used in order to perform an arithmetic operation within a processor. You know that there are several register organizations. In fact, three altogether. The first one is single accumulator organization. Second one is general register. And the third one is stack organization. If we use general register organization, we may use either infix notation or prefix notation for performing an arithmetic operation. Altogether, we do have three different kinds of a notation. One is something called infix notation. Second one is something called prefix notation. And the third one is something called a postfix notation in order to perform an arithmetic operation. When we use general register, we may specify either the operation in infix notation or in prefix notation. Let us say I want to perform an addition in which R1 is going to hold one operand, R2 is going to hold another operand. Finally, we may say that R1 is equal to R1 plus R2. So this is called something called infix notation. That is, the operator is in between the operands. Generally, when we use general list organization, either we use infix or prefix. The prefix is the operator is going to precede the operands. This can also be written as plus R1, R2. Plus R1, R2 or R1 plus R2, both are one and the same. What is postfix or reverse Polish notation? But when it comes to the stack, things are different. Sometimes when the CPU supports only stack, all the operations within the ALU should be performed on the operands that are available within the stack. At that time, we are going to use postfix or reverse Polish notation. Let us say I want to perform 3 into 4 plus 5 into 6. In order to perform this, initially we need to ensure that all these operands push into the stack. Initially, we need to push 3. Let us say push 3. Then 3 will get pushed. After which, we need to perform another push operation which push 4 onto the top of the stack. Then you are going to perform an addition. When you perform addition, these two will get added, will get stored here. When you perform an operation on the stack, top two elements will get added and will get located in the next element to the topmost element. So initially three is pushed, followed by four is pushed. Then you're going to perform multiplication. It is not multi uh, addition, it is multiplication, bigger pattern. After performing the operation, both operands will get multiplied and the result will get stored next to the top of the stack. One element less to the top of the stack and top of the stack will get erased. Now I want to perform one more multiplication in between five into six, for which I need to push five, after which I need to push six. Then I will have to say multiplication. Then topmost two elements will get multiplied, will get stored here. This topmost element will get erased, stack pointer will get decremented, will get relocated back to this position. Finally, I'm going to perform addition. This is what the reverse Polish notation is all about. Initially, 3 and 4 are pushed, after which multiplication is going to be performed. That is, it can be called as 3, 4 into, followed by 5, 6 into, followed by plus. Here, operator is going to follow the operands. Initially, a multiplication operation is needed to be performed on two operands. Those are 3 and 4. So, 3, 4 will get pushed initially, after which operation will get performed, which is depicted by this specific operator. After which 5 and 6 will get pushed, and operator star will again denote that 5 and 6 will get multiplied. After which both operands are available for addition. Finally, I am going to perform addition in order to add these two elements. Finally, after performing every operation, the stack pointer will get reduced. In this reduced stack pointer's location, 
the result will get transferred this is all about reverse polish notation thank you